Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the AAD STS 90100 login parameter is empty or not a valid error message you're receiving on your computer. It's specifically when you're trying to sign into your Microsoft account and it says that we're sorry but we're having trouble signing you in. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So there's just one thing I want to point out. Generally, this issue isn't caused on the user side. It's usually something on the back end. And just restarting your web browser, refreshing the tab, or waiting a few minutes, check using a different web browser as well. Different options will generally fix it pretty quickly, and it just will resume normal function after like I said, even just refreshing your browser tab. But there's a couple other things we can look into here as well. So that could entail opening up, again, whatever browser you're having a problem with. Let's just say it's Google Chrome here that you're accessing Microsoft's services with. You want to select the three dot icon up at the top right. And then you want to go and select where it says clear browsing data. For the time range here, you want to click on the drop down, select all time. And browsing history, cookies and site data, which will sign you out of most websites, but you just have to sign back in when you're done with that. As well as cache images and files, you select clear data. And then once you're done, you will want to close out of the browser and then relaunch it. And then hopefully the issue would have resolved itself. Something else we can try here as well, open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And then into this command line window, you want to type in IP config followed by a space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back a Windows IP configuration to successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WINSOCK, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, and then hit enter. Should come back with successfully reset the WINSOCK catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer at this time. And then hopefully your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.